You doing what? Well. <laughs> Taking pictures of this incredible thing. Mm. I'm trying to have incredible photos thing. For you. That incredible thing. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, welcome to a place called Simet. We've come today to finally, after five years of trying, <laughs> see what is the local attraction. Uh, a monastery. A very beautiful monastery. Very beautiful monastery. We're also going to take time to have a wander around here. And the other thing we've got to say about today, today is the festival of San Juan. No, I don't. I, what do you say for someone? You say happy someone. One is festus. One is festus. If somebody knows what we're supposed to say today, let us know. But happy someone. How have we been here? so many times and didn't know this existed. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, last time we were here, I vaguely remember we walked this side street over here, we walked up here and walked, yeah. I thought, up there. Yeah, we did. And we went to go to that bar because it had been opened in the morning, but yeah. by the time we came back, it was then closed. <laughs> how did we not see this? I don't know. A bit special actually, I like this. Yeah. Cause you, I mean, you said it comes in over there, but it looks like it just goes to nowhere, doesn't it? It must here. go around the corner. Because right. it's got to come in from somewhere, otherwise yeah. the rate that's flowing out, it would be empty. Yeah. And then that, excuse the rubbish, but that flows off. Oh, wow. Okay. That seems to be some kind of tunnel system underneath the entire village. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'll come over here. But that goes all the way down here. Mm. And like some kind of... It has like half a bridge in the middle. Subterranean canal water system. Because the one thing we have to say about Simat is this is only about a 20 minute drive from home. We're at literally just over the other side of the, the mountains. I'm trying to get my bearings, but we're just over the other side of this lump. So this is somewhere we've been a number of times, but apparently not, not been very observant when we have been here. Did not. So this, we think, or we're presuming, you can't see, was possibly part of the original waterway. Like I said, we can't see because it's so, what's the word? It's so full of humidity. Stuffed as well. You can't see through. Yeah, look, here we go. And this is the washing station. So this is where it came through. It's where they used to do their laundry. Oh, that's a very posh washing that station. That is a very posh washing, <laughs> washing station. That's very posh. Very large as well. For yeah. Small, I suppose, if the monastery. If if you've, I, I don't know if we've ever shown this. The the washing station like this in Petraeus is actually two. 
Uh, yeah, they're tiny in comparison. Mm. One thing we do have planned for the future before we leave the village is we are actually going to do a, a video specifically on where we live, Petraeus. Well, looks promising today, darling. Gates open. The gates open. So fingers crossed. Yay. We can get in. I've already seen through the gate. We've never seen through this gate before because it's always been closed. And for what I've seen so far, this looks um, a little bit special in here. Ooh. Doesn't it just? Oh, look at this little look fountain. Look at that. Where's that? That looks amazing. Please tell me that's here somewhere. at this. <laughs> you know, Look you said at how photo, ornate this is. is. Oh. Here it is. I am completely blown away by this. I don't think the camera is going to do this justice. This. I've never seen anything like this. We have some, some beautiful places, but nothing like this. These arches are absolutely immense. Actually, Alison, you, you can see Alison stood wavy wavy there. Look how high they are. <laughs> They're immense, aren't they? And again, particularly around the, the edge here, so ornate. What doing, wife? Taking pictures of this incredible. You, 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 you're doing what? <laughs> Taking pictures of this incredible thing. Yeah. I'm trying to have photos here. That incredible thing. That incredible thing. It is utterly incredible. This is one of those places where you could just spend hours just sitting here. I could actually it's sit so here all day. Yeah, it's so peaceful. Yeah. It's so quiet. And that's like it. We, we said it a while ago. I don't think this is going to come out on camera. And, and or the camera's not going to do this justice. But everywhere we look, there's just new little details you pick out and yeah again this is just one of those places if you're in this region oh you've got to go yeah here. this for me this particular room hall whatever you call it is the single and most stunning area architecturally i've seen yeah 
Can you see now why I was so desperate to get here? Yeah. I can see why you've spent five years <laughs> trying to get us into this place. Nagging. Can we go yet? Can but we go yet? Yeah, yeah, can we go yet? <laughs> but this here, I presume... I presume this is a part... Was this, I don't know, is this the same age? Is this older? It's the ruined part of it, isn't it? They're clearly doing some work here to uh, try and restore some of it. That looks like fairly new work over there. Wow. This is a bit special. Well, it's what's left of the original monastery. Right. I'm not really quite sure because it says... You were saying this was called the new building? Yeah. This bit here? I'm not sure if it's that bit or if it's a bit around the other side because there was a facade the other side that looks right. like this. Looks like this. Gotcha. This is apparently classed as the new building. Mm. Obviously not much of it left. I presume that's... What's the word? New in comparison to... Yeah. Oh, darling. There's some stairs that go somewhere. Ooh. And they're not blocked off. No, so they're not blocked, we go. We and there's a lift. Oh, there's a lift. That's cool. Right, up the stairs. James II, or James II the Just, and he built it in 1298, and the Valdinia part actually means Worthy Valley. Right, that last section of the video, Alison wants to kind of do that a little bit again, don't you? Rude. Why? Tell, tell the people why you want to do that again. <laughs> There's a specific word. Because it said it fell into complete decrepitude. Decrepitude. By 1835. What a fabulous word. Yeah. Decrepitude. I fell into decrepitude years ago, darling. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Stairs that we're now walking up and went, oh, they're stairs. They're like kids sometimes when we see a set of stairs or an open doorway. <music> Darling, yeah. guess what? More stairs. Yeah, but these ones aren't as cool as the others because these are new metal ones. No, to be fair, they're new stone. Yeah. But they go up. They do. Where do they go up to? They, oh. Just a bit <laughs> I, I expected it a bit further than just kind of hanging out. We're kind of hanging out over. Yeah. But, yeah. That's Clearly the new you. building. Well, this, that, this... that facade right in the corner, it runs that way and joins on to the church, which wow. was obviously rebuilt in the 1800s because it was decimated by an earthquake in 16-something. Uh, gotcha. So they're still doing... Still trying to... Archaeology. Yeah, and trying to restore it. a lot of it, clearly, as well. Mm. The 
these trees look interesting, aren't they? Possibly. I don't know. They're lovely looking. I like the shape of them. Yeah, yeah they're oranges. Or citrus of some description. And this was the facade you were talking about. The, uh, this is the new building. The new building. What they call the new that building. doesn't look all that new. No. Yeah, Alison was saying a little while ago that we mentioned the place got a bit wrecked by an earthquake, but apparently they rebuilt, rebuilt it a couple of hundred years after and Had then it got wrecked earthquake. again. <laughs> <laughs> Not having much joy with earthquakes in this building, are they? No. So that was absolutely lovely. That was stunning. Yeah. I really, really, that's worth every minute that was. And free. And free. I think the plan is now though, we're gonna take a quick look around the rest of this town, village, and then we're gonna be heading home from there. Because the plan is this evening, there is a bit of a fiesta with some tapas and stuff in our local village to celebrate San Juan. First off, let's go and have a look around the village. Maybe get a drink. Yeah. Let's go. Right, so we've just had to do a bit of a detour. Because... Mm -hmm. uh, Wife wants to feed the fish. Yeah, we, we had to go into a supermarket, buy some bread rolls, specifically, so Alison can go and feed the fishies. So we've actually popped back for... Are you stealing my can of drink? I, well, I'm, I'm borrowing it and not actually stealing it. Because it's cold. Because yeah. it's cold. <laughs> it is that warm today. But where we've actually come is we've come back to... This here is the... The lake? The little fish place. The fishy yeah. pond thing yeah. that we saw at the beginning of today. And we've literally just come in for a bag of cheap crisps and for Alison to wear two cans of uh, fizzy drink. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, see? Yeah, now who's laughing? Mm -hmm. Well, that's us suitably watered and refreshed. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do now is going to have a wander around the the village of Saman. But we're going to try and kill two birds with one stone, which is actually, I don't think we've mentioned this yet. There may be a slight change in plan with us. We're still going to sell our house, still going to buy a motorhome, but what we are thinking of doing is also buying a very or an extremely cheap flat somewhere in this region. Really, so we've got like a base camp somewhere in the world. So now we're going to have a wander and see if we can find a couple of available flats as we have a look around here. Right, so we're failing dismally to find these flats. We've probably spent about the half, half hour, 40 minutes wandering around trying to find a couple of flats that we've seen. It was just to give us a rough idea of whereabouts they are, but I think we scrapped that for today. Yeah. But it is quite nice. I mean, you've got, presumably, Ed Cinema. I don't know if it's actually a cinema or if it's something else now but what we're gonna do now though is um head up the hill not much of a hill for a change <laughs> and uh go and see the older part of this town
This has definitely got to this time of year now where when you're walking around the streets you hunt <laughs> like we have here for the shade. You know what, I, I, I do like to know. It's got yeah. a nice feel to it. Look, being blunt, this is no Bocarens, Chelva, Julia. It's not this postcard picture village. If we were to move here, mm. it would be functional. Yeah. Because this village, I mean, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, we've got the mountains behind and it's, it's a nice village, but it would be for functional reasons. It's got the pharmacy, it's got the two supermarkets, small ones, two of them. Mm -hmm. It's got shops, restaurants, a bank, yeah. everything you would need. Hairdressers, not that we need those. Yeah. And it's well situated for us. Right, so we found somewhere to eat, and I don't know what Sounds it's nice. called. Oh, here it is. Caramel net. Mm. Um, what we have done is they've got a menu of the day for eight euros. Mm -hmm. It's got a choice of two starters, choice of two uh, main courses. <coughs> and we'll shame when they turn up, so what we've done is we've gone for one each. So we've got everything. Because mm. it is typical Valencian food yeah. stuff. So this is the uh, first course which is turned up and we've got croquettes de bacalao, so fish croquettes and a cream cheese mm. salad. But the cunning plan we had was to order both and we just share mm. and pick at it. Yep. So it's this has got honey and mustard dressing on I think, from the taste. Mm. Looks nice. Mm. Mm. Right, let's get on a list and then we'll share the next course when it turns up. And now we've got our main courses, which consist of pasta with chicken, chicken, and, scallop. And, chicken and, as they said, special sauce mm -hmm. and a Valencian paella. Which, on this occasion, looks like a, a meatball and some kind of pork chop probably. Which thankfully means it's not a true Valencian paella because it hasn't got rabbit in it. Yeah, no rabbit heads. No time. rabbit heads. Right. Looks yummy. Once again, we'll get on and enjoy this and see you afterwards. Well, that was yummy. It was, wasn't it? If you're in Simat de Valdinia, go to um, Fa Ramon. Fa Ramon. <laughs> Is it Ramon or Ramonette? That was lovely. Oh, I mean, it was, what was it? 20 euros 80, mm -hmm. which was 8 euros for each for the food. Great food. Lovely food. And we paid a bit extra for the drinks. But, having said that, now the plan is simple. We're going to head back to the car and head home. And from there, we will see you this evening. It's now nine o'clock at night. Got back home, we've had a, a quick sleep, got changed, and we're off to, well, just the other side of the village. The reason is, is the San Juan Fiesta celebrations here in the village. And what's supposed to be going on tonight is some tapas and a big bonfire and potentially a lot of craziness. <laughs> Hola chicos! Hola! Hola! Well, there's lots of people out in the street, so... Lots of tables and, and chairs. And lots of tables and chairs ready. And uh, we now need to go and find our friends. So it's getting... Uh, very noisy here now and we're gonna come and we're gonna come and uh, 
upset some friends. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. You good? <laughs> this, is, this is Paloma. I, I'm famous. You're famous. Yo, yo, tú no. Oh. <laughs> Él no. Yo. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> right. That's sufficiently upset her. Let's go and find our seats. What is? Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? In the house. Alan just said he'd got a. a Upset his, crocodile. Uh, yeah, can't upset his stuff. Thank God we had lunch already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need a pen. All right. So we've been given this, which I think is for us to order. By the way, quick introductions. This is one of our friends, Alan, and I've lost Alan's wife. Over Olga. Olga, over there. Olga, Olga, say hello. Ah, okay, yeah. Darren and Olga are our bestest friends in the village. I only say that to keep them happy. friends in the village. But what we're trying to work out, because they, sorry everybody, but they've put this in Valencia, so. Oh, well, that's me screwed up. Ah, you've got, you've got the full rundown. We have. So uh, we're going to work this menu out, order some food, and then show you around a bit. It looks like a bean. It tastes it's like a bean. Salty. Or is it salty beans? I won't be trying that then. <laughs> you dropped that one on the floor. We, we've ordered the food. We've got some drinks. And this is where they prepare everything. So this is one of our neighbours. She seems to be in charge of everything that's going on here. And then they, wow. They've got everything all pre-baked. There, so apparently now, darling, we go and wait at the table and eat our food, so. Good job. They know who we are then. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we've only been gone from the table for what, five minutes? And lots of food appeared. Oh, first there seems to be a lot more people suddenly turned up. But this table seems covered in random icky bits. The thing we have found though, these types of things, is that everybody in the local street just sort of brings stuff and adds. And they're almost proud of it sometimes, aren't they? We've had uh, fiestas where people turn up with their the cake, they make it, and you have to try it. They get really offended if you don't. Well, it would be really nasty. Uh, it's okay until I don't like it. Then I have to pull that I like it face. It's going to be coming over my shoulder, I thought. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. That's not quite what I expected, but... No, but... Is that all of our stuff then? So it's... That is... Nachos and guacamole. This is... That's falafel. And that's my... Thing, I imagine. Salad and something. What do you think? <laughs> I think the face does it all. I'll just stick to the bottle. I'll keep you out of mischief. And then yeah. now we take the walk up to see the fire. The bonfire. Again, I think I've said this already. Sorry if it's a bit dark, but the street lights here are not exactly the brightest. So, time for bonfire.
let's go and see. So that was nice. Yeah. Nice sociable evening. Yeah. I hope that was all right because it, it probably doesn't come across as the most spectacular of things on the camera, to be fair. No. But it's just a nice sociable evening where the whole village comes together and eats. Yeah. But look, once again, thank you so much for joining us and. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care. Take care. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.